Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about the new X Men '97 first two episodes. I'll be giving you guys my full review on it. I will also be talking about who Nathan Charles Summers is and who is this Jean Grey clone. But before we get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn on those post notifications so you can notify when I post a new video. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna talk about and give you guys is my review for the first two episodes so far. So far, in my opinion, these two episodes have been doing absolutely fantastic. This might be one of Marvel's best hits yet as far as their animation goes, besides Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse. The dynamics between the characters that we have saw in these first two episodes has been done so well, and it still gives me that same feel that, they, that the original X-Men animated series did and I'm honestly just loving it. I'm loving all the character designs, I'm loving the animation, but I will be honest with you guys, at the beginning, I was not sure if I was gonna like the animation like at all, but as I watched the show, it grew on me, and I'm loving it. The plot that this story is going for is amazing, and that cliffhanger is crazy, and it's shocking, and it leaves us with a new storyline that I will get into, at, towards the end of this video. These first two episodes have been doing absolutely fantastic and I really hope they keep that same consistency of greatness throughout the rest of the season and the rest of the show as a whole. As far as these first two episodes go, I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. That's just in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts about these first two episodes of F X Men 97 in the comments down below. Now, let's talk about who is Nathan Charles Summers. Believe it or not, but we have already met this character in multiple variations of media, being comics, TV shows, live action movies, and even Deadpool. If you don't already know who I'm talking about, the answer on who Nathan Summer Charles is, is Cable. <laughs> Cable is a future adult version of Nathan Charles Summers. And we have already seen him in the original X-Men animated series, and we've already seen him interact with a lot of X-Men characters. But most fans didn't know that this guy is the son of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. Or is he? The reason why I say this is because his mother, at least in the comics, is not Jean Grey. His mother is Madeline Pryor, who was a clone of Jean Grey. Let me give you the details. Madeline always bore a striking resemblance to the presumed deceased Jean Grey. Numerous individuals mistook her for Jean Reborn. To make matters more suspicious, Madeline's mind was closed to Professor X, and she was the sole survivor of a mysterious plane crash, which occurred at the exact moment the Dark Phoenix committed suicide on the moon, or so she thought. In reality, she was a clone created by Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister found that a union between X-Men Scott Summers, aka Cyclops, and Jean Grey would produce a powerful mutant. Sinister hoped he could control such a mutant and use it to defeat Apocalypse. At that time, Jean, who was actually the Phoenix, was acting recklessly, so Sinister created a clone of her. Sinister's plot was to produce a child from the union of Madeline and Scott, whom he believed would become a genetically superior mutant. To Sinister's disappointment, Madeline had no life and did not develop any mutant abilities at puberty as he had hoped. Sinister left Madeline in an incubation tube as a failed experiment. It was at the moment of Dark Phoenix's death that a spark of the Phoenix Force was accidentally bestowed on Madeline's body and renewed Sinister's interest. After Dark Phoenix died on the moon, and Phoenix sought to return the borrowed portion of Jean's soul to her body, which was in a suspended animation. Jean instinctively rejected the Phoenix, and it wandered the globe, lost. Eventually, it became attracted to Madeline, since she was an exact genetic clone of Jean. The Phoenix Force searched for the next best thing, giving a spark of itself to Madeline, granting her a life force and some of Jean's memories. Now, judging off of that cliffhanger, it seems like the X-Men 97 show is adapting this storyline into the show. So this second Jean Grey could actually be the real Jean Grey, and the person that we have been seeing portray Jean Grey in these first two episodes is actually Madeline Pryor. But enough about Jean Grey and Madeline Pryor, let's talk about who Nathan Charles Summers is and how he came to be Cable. 
Now, I don't know if the story that I'm about to tell you guys is going to be canon to the show, but this is canon to the comics. From the moment he was born, Cable's life has not been easy. The circumstances of his birth were orchestrated by a mad geneticist named Mr. Sinister, who created Cable's mother, Madeline Pryor, a clone of Jean Grey. Sinister then had Pryor seduce Cyclops in order to conceive a child that he believed would be a powerful mutant. Once born, Nathan Summers was the target of a plot to open a portal between Earth and the demon-infested dimension Limbo. This was thwarted by members of X-Force and the X-Men, such as the real Jean Grey, who was presumed dead. Sinister then planned to use Nathan to exact revenge against his former master, Apocalypse. But Apocalypse learned of this and had Nathan kidnapped. Apocalypse infected Nathan with a deadly techno-organic virus to see if he would make a worthy host, hoping to use the powerful mutant's body for his own. X-Factor's artificial intelligence ship merged with Nathan to slow the virus. After Apocalypse was defeated by X-Factor, a member of the clan Ascani, a sisterhood de dedicated to opposing Apocalypse in an alternate future of Earth 4935, offered to save Nathan's life by taking him to make her own. Desperate Cyclops agreed and Nathan was taken to the 38th century of an alternate reality where the mother Ascani had him cloned in case the virus could not be cured. However, he proved able to keep the virus in check using his own t telekinetic mutant powers. So if X-Men 97 adapts the story that I just told you guys about, we might soon see Apocalypse in episode two or three, and we might also see Mr. Sinister in episode three and try to take Nathan and finish his plan. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any other thoughts on what might happen in the future episodes, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace!